today's video is gonna be a part two of my journey from zero to six figures with my t-shirt business that I'm running on Etsy without ads in 100% organic traffic. First off, I wanna start off with my t-shirt business check-in, basically a progress report. So I started this shop March 24th to the 27th of June. I have made a total of 25 sales. That's not including how many orders or how many t-shirts were in each sale, but I made 25 sales to date. From June 1st to the 27th, I have received 1,018 visits, which turned into 22 orders, and uh, the revenue was $625.46. And the conversion rate is 2.2%. That is my progress so far. Now that I've shared where I'm at in my journey, I'm going to now show you how I have been able to accomplish what I've done thus far. And that is using the E-Rank app. E-Rank is a tool designed to help Etsy sellers improve their shop's visibility and sales through data-driven insights and SEO optimization. So let's go ahead and start. The very first thing that I do before I even bother creating designs for my t-shirts is come over to eRank.com to find out what niches have low competition. And and you can start the search off with something extra broad. Doesn't matter what it is, we just wanna start somewhere and it'll take you down a rabbit hole. For this example, I'll do something like cat shirt and let's just see what pops up. And the second thing I'm gonna do is scroll down and sort by average searches. Click that and I want to see from greatest to least average searches. And now I'm gonna scroll down here and look on the Etsy competition side on the far right. And I'm looking for either dark green or light green. When you're first starting out and you're a complete newbie, you barely have any, you don't have anything in your shop, I recommend starting out with the dark green competition because that means it's low competition. Both greens mean low competition. However, dark green means extra low competition and that gives you a greater chance of popping up for that specific niche, whatever that may be. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So the first one, I see childless cat lady shirt. So that's a contender. That's a good one. And another one, t-shirt cat mom shirt, funny cat. I'm not sure what OW means. Another childless cat lady t-shirt seem to be running in the same, run into the same um, keyword. Well, it's not typed the same way, but it's the same niche. Persian cat shirt, so that's very specific. Another one, space cat shirt. Let's say I'm interested, I don't mind trying out the cat niche. I would see a little deeper into the space cat t-shirt and the Persian, I think it said Persian cat shirt. So once I've gone down this whole list and I've found majority or all of the green or light green, low Etsy competition keywords, the next thing I will do is use this in Etsy search to learn more about what the keywords mean. Now we're gonna go on to the third step. I am going to use Etsy in the incognito tab. Okay, so whatever that may look like for your computer, I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna say incognito. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and let me look for the keyword first before I head over. I'm going to copy it. Okay, I am in my incognito window. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paste the childless cat lady shirt. Okay, now remember what I said. I am now looking to learn more about what this keyword specifically means. And what I like to do is look at the bestsellers, preferably just the first page, maybe the second page. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Go to all filters, come over here to the left side. I wanna see all the physical items, star seller, show results, and in order to see the bestsellers, come up here to the browser, take out star and type best. Now I'm gonna scroll down. This whole page is gonna show me nothing but bestsellers. And you do not wanna look at the ads because this is paid space. People are paying to be in these spots. We're looking for people who came up organically. So the first one, okay, I believe that's an artist or um, an artist that passed away a long time ago. And that's their art with a cat. So we're looking at childless cat lady to see what that means. We have some retro vintage designs here. I'm just gonna right click all of them and then we'll come back and look at all of them. So they're not saying childless cat lady shirt. 
So it doesn't mean it has to just outright say that on the shirt. So now I've learned that much. It's just about, it's just cat related. So for the cat moms out there or just cat women out there. I guess they have a political related one. I don't really see how that relates to cats. Let me continue. Here's another one. There's a custom cat shirt. Okay, another political one, okay. Continue to scroll, there's another one. Remember to skip all the ads because I know sometimes they're mixed up in here. They're not always in a straight row. All right, done with the first page. Here's another one and another and another. From what I'm seeing, it's basically anything cat related. People who love cats, and or own cats, um, particularly women. So we have this one with different vintage retro cats. It's very trendy. That's what's trending right now. A tarot card cat design. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, I guess it's the funny cat shirt. Eagle rights or I bites. Another cat shirt, but they mix it in with the political related. Here's a custom one. Okay, a bootleg shirt. And they made it with cats. And here's like a, a meme themed one. So what I'm seeing here is that anything with cats is not, because because if we wouldn't have done this research here, what we're doing right now, right off the bat, I would, would have just thought it was a shirt that said Charlie's Cat Lady. But by me doing this, I'm learning exactly what it means and what shoppers are actually looking for when they type this into search. This way, when I'm ready to create and design for this niche, I know that's dealing with anything cat related. This one here is an embroidery one, a cat with uh, surrounded by flowers or wildflowers. This one is on the funny path, uh, funny niche, kitty biscuits, and also retro looking. Me and karma vibe like that. It's a good day to crochet, a funny one, rolling fatties, and a little chess piece. Um, and just a word of caution, I would stay away from designs like this because it takes a long time to come up in search. It, it says absolutely nothing. It's just a picture of a cat on the chest piece of the shirt and that's it. I'm pretty sure it took this seller a long time if I would bring up the stats. I'm pretty sure it took this seller a long time to get up to that bestseller badge. And another custom one. So this is kind of like the other one. The other one's a little bit different, but another cat custom shirt sure. so this is how i go about using e-rank and etsy search in order to start my t-shirt business so i do this whole process before i even bother thinking about what to design this way it helps me avoid designing biased creations this helps me avoid not making sales in the future and it helps me actually learn what people are really looking for and it increases my chances of making sales and this is how i was able to make the 600 dollars this month alone so if you have any questions about this definitely comment Comment below and also be sure to join my free telegram group where I share behind the scenes I answer your questions all that jazz definitely join is for free you don't have to pay for it if you have any questions that you don't want to you know ask in the comments join the telegram group until next time I'll talk to you guys in the next video